Hey guys, welcome back to another More With Mars video. Today's video is going to be a very exciting one, not only for me, but for our channel as well. We are doing our biggest renovation project yet. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video because we are going to be adding a extra bedroom in our house. So with that said, I know you guys know that I hinted around a few weeks ago, maybe. And I also said that we were going to be doing like a really big project. And excuse the mess because I have been the past couple of days working on the car but here is all of the materials so far for this project and one of the biggest setbacks that we've had so far is not being able to get materials in we weren't able to get our floor in on time and we're also not able to get the doors in on time kind of an issue but not really an issue because i can go ahead and get the wall up and then start tearing out the floor when the flooring comes in and then when the doors finally come in i'll already have them kind of framed out and the dimensions are already like wrote down for me so I just gotta frame it to the point and then put the doors in later. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before we even get started with this video because I'm nervous, you guys might be nervous, but we're gonna put the skills to the test today. All right, you guys, so I wanna go ahead and jump into this video. What you are going to start by doing, and what I started off by doing, was taking down our old stairs, like our old stair railing and banisters. Now, my idea behind what I was going to do didn't really pan out, and you guys will see that in the end. What I wanted to do was make kind of like a half wall, and then a small closet, and then a doorway, but it ended up not working out that way. What I ended up doing was taking the entire stair railing and banisters off and just put up one solid wall. And at the end, I believe it looks 10 times better. Let me know in the comments what you guys think by the time this video is over. Should I have went with the half wall or should I have stayed with the direction that I was going? One of the things that we had to start off doing right away was getting this room completely emptied out. And if you guys can see, I took the old stair railing and kind of mapped out walls were gonna be and it almost worked out perfectly um it may be off by a few inches but you guys this come out so well and i'm kind of really proud of how Brittany and i thought this through and kind of mapped everything out and we really cannot wait to be able to put scarlet or harlow or maybe even fletcher in this room So it is day two of the framing. And here's what we have so far. We have the exterior wall completely done. Now what I'm starting to do now is work on the inside corner. So I made, made some adjusting and I'm thinking this is gonna be the right angle to come here. And then it's just gonna taper off and go back to the other side. I had everything laid out. So it's gonna end up butting up very nicely here and having a slight angle going back kind of like the way this wall is right here with this little soft angle. But I'm gonna set you guys back up so I can rip out the base padding for the carpet and so I can lay these boards down and get this framed up and hopefully everything fits because I've ended up having to do some beating on the frame to get some of it in place and I kind of, I kind of missed in a few spots, but it's okay. One thing I want to say really quickly, you guys, is when you are framing out anything, please make sure that it is square and make sure that your walls are, are square as well because it turns out not all of them are square. 
Mine just happened to be an inch and a half off on one side. All right, you guys, so here is everything that I have done so far, which I started working on the door frame. The door frame is actually very much right. Only thing I gotta do is put some blocking up and blocking at the top to make sure everything is square. Also gotta put blocking on this side. Everything from here back this way is all nice and square and it's nailed down to the baseboard there and I also have it screwed into some raptor ra raptors. I also have it screwed into some rafters at the top. You guys, curiosity has got the best of me. We're gonna see how this piece of sheetrock is gonna look on the wall. And we're not done with the framing. I just wanna see how it's gonna look and see how it's gonna flow and see if I need to adjust anything. Now this probably isn't what you typically would do, but for you guys, I want you guys to see how everything's supposed to go. So I decided to go ahead and start hanging a few pieces of sheetrock horizontally to see how well it was going to match up with the original sheetrock that was in the house and surprisingly it turned out really well. Now one thing that I did get quite concerned with was how was this going to look at the top because there were several small pieces that were going to have to go at the top. Well didn't really have to worry about that everything turned out perfectly and you guys will see all of that in the second part of this video. So what I ended up doing you guys was after I made everything nice and square on the ends I come back in with a metal sheetrock bead and just to give it that extra straight line that way it didn't have any waviness at all I put two of these up on each corner. Now you guys I'm jumping back to the inside and if you guys can see on the top right you'll see exactly what I was talking about when I said that the wall was slanted and it was slanted from left to right about an inch and a half. So really quickly you guys, here is the start of the framing for the closet. Now I left these two original pieces down because they are the like exact marks where they need to go. Like it is straight all the way across and I ended up using a Dremel tool just to cut these out. That way I still have the fitment for the door. Now what I ended up needing, what I need to do is run a two by four up across. And if you guys can see, there is my boo-boo from where I was trying to take it down and it just got caught up and that that is that is ugly. All right you guys so it is officially a few days later and I wanted to show you guys the progress that I ended up making on the entire wall itself. Now I realize that this video is already extremely long so I'm going to cut this into two parts. This is going to be part one which is going to be pretty much all the framing and drywall. There's a few things that I need to continue to work on. Um, I ended up having to take down some of the framing for the closet because it really, the lumber was terrible and it was really bent. So I ended up having to take that down and in the process of taking that down, I put a hole in the ceiling. So I have to patch that before I can, it's a mess. But you guys, I wanted to show you guys where I was at and give you guys a nice overview for the end of this video. But I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this entire video. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like and comment. And also don't forget to subscribe to More With Morrows to see the final outcome of this entire project. There is a lot more to this project and there's been a lot of setbacks so far, but 
honestly, we're getting there, we're taking it day by day, and having a newborn baby, it kind of limits how much time I can put into this a day, which is fun. We will eventually get done with this project, but I don't want to keep dragging this out too long without putting up a video, without putting up content for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys everything that we got done so far. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. But just like that, we will see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.